Hello guys, uh, here is just a quick review I made for the Nightcore BB2 or I think it's Blower BB2 uh, because I own the previous gen but uh, this one is a newer model I think uh, has a little bit of improvements that I think is going to be quite interesting this little blower is made for um, cleaning things like maybe your sensor uh, this is a A7S3 and maybe you can see there are some uh, tiny dust spots there. I used to own an A7R4 which is a strong dust collector because it has statics when it was um, working. So now let's have a look at the inside of the beautiful box. I mean it's, it's very nicely packaged even I feel it's like a little bit over packaged at all but you can see it's made quite nice all the yellow and black like the color theme of Nightcore I love it oh there's a little card too so I think this is the BB2 I used to own a previous model it's just called Blower Baby but the previous model have a little like inconvenient points it doesn't have a built-in brush like this one see this brush is very useful when you are like cleaning the stuff maybe your keyboard or something but this one this particular one is not made for like cleaning a lens this is just for your lens body. So if you want to clean your lens or the CMOS sensor, uh, they have a lens cleaning quick release brush. Ah, it's hard to open. I got it. So this is the package of the replacement brush. As you can see, it's very tiny and nicely packaged as well. So basically, you can just remove this one. It's magnetic, okay. And then attach the new brush, which is white. Snaps in! Pretty good. This one is very soft and quality made. This one is used to brush it on your lens and the other one is just for the camera body or other stuff. So uh, I must say I love their design. The tiny case that is used to carry this around, very good. So let's have a look. What's this one? Oh, this is a filter. Um, so Nightcore, they use a strong motor to suck in the air and uh, they use different filters and this is a new design. This is a dial-like uh, mode switch. So the first one here is called lock and you won't turn it on by switching to this mode. But then you would have like silent, optical and turbo. Um, basically, silent mode is uh, quite useful because sometimes I just want to like clean my stuff in a low profile. I don't want to um, really like get attention because the previous BB it is very loud. But for this one, it sounds like this one, and uh, this is the optical. You heard that? <laughs> it's amazing. And along. And now let's try to the turbo. Holy shit! Let's see what will happen if we hit the center with the fan. Uh, maybe use the silent mode first. So Santa is being pretty happy about the wind right now. Um, it's just a little bit of push, but very cozy. Then we have optical. 
Okay, Santa is not so happy now. Then I have to try the turbo then. Santa is gone. Now let's try to clean this A7S3 with like uh, maybe optical mode. I think that should be good enough. And the trick is that you don't clean the sensor uh, like facing upward. You should do it like this one. Make it upside down, facing downwards, and then use the BB to clean it. First, you get into the settings and then you ah oh, this one is a sony model so it's like this but basically you can just uh, find the setup options then do a sensor cleaning and then it will tell you that it's performing auto image sensor cleaning uh, with some camera models you can hear like the ultrasound does remove is moving and uh, yeah, as you can see, there will be some leftovers. Here, yeah, so you see some dust spots. So that's where the blower baby can help. Uh, because the CMOS, when it is working, it will create some static electricity. And uh, that is going to attach some of the dust onto the CMOS instead of like shaking it off um, with the blower you can clean it off easily so basically don't go for the brush first because the brush um, you don't know if it is clean enough so don't go for it first just use the blower itself Just like what the camera screen is saying, now you can do the uh, you can do the manual clean because these cameras, newer camera models, you come with in-body image stabilization or IBIS, and then it shakes your camera sensor. Or anyway, your camera sensor can move because of that. So oh. When you have performed the automatic cleanup, um, the camera will lock down the CMOS sensor and now you can use like manual tools to clean off the dust. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but now we have the camera here and we are going to clean it off. You don't really need the brush from time to time. Let's have a look. Um, yep, yeah, it's pretty clean now. Feeling pretty good. Have a look. It's very clean. I hope that the camera can get a focus. 
Not sure. Okay, now, um, so what do I think about this product? I think it's quite handy, very well made, and uh, I love the USB-C charging because, you know, some Nightcore products, they don't really have that one, especially on their, like, headlights sold in Australia. Ah, I'm just pretty frustrated about that. But, yeah, that's pretty much all you get.